Wins over Tip Sarovic, Cuevas and Fabiano so far for the man in picture. How much of a step up is this today, do you think? Yeah, it's definitely a step up in the athlete he's playing up the other end. Also, uh, the power that can come out of the racket as well. We can generate some explosive power from the racket, from areas of defences. So that's a step up, but for Tiafo, it's can he handle the environment mm -hmm. on a round of 16 match? And we're about to find out a lot about him over the next two or three hours. Full dealer. start for the Bulgarian here. Will he, will he attack the backhand side and try and break it down? Here's a predictor here. So heavily in favour of Grigor. We'll see how that plays out throughout the match. Yeah, it's an algorithm put together by the team downstairs. Taking in a whole number of factors. Probably about right, he would say. Yeah. Judging on what we've seen so far, and of course, given the fact TFO is playing at this stage of a major for the first time. of tennis I'd like to see Grigor playing that front front foot tennis looking looking at the flight of ball whenever it's it's up there jump on it been about a 50 50 split this week off the backhand side in terms of slice and topspin for Dimitrov oh is that for a pickup wow it was an excellent pass when I say pass on Grigor, he, ex he exploited his opponent. He said, what have you got from that position there? And it's the most natural volley, too, for a person coming in the backhand. It's the, the racket faces out in front of you. Let's go. Yeah. Equally impressive start from TFO on serve. Interesting, because we were looking through some Hawkeye data yeah. early on. He generally favours the swinger on the juice. I wonder if he'll just change that a little bit today to get the Dimitrov's back end initially, maybe? He may do, and because, because he knows that if he if he wants the reply to be in his favour, Grigor will chip the majority of balls off the back end side, so you definitely know you can sort of serve it there and set yourself up. Spread of the court there. Got a little caught. The American when he went in for that second serve. So if you don't get enough purchase on it and you're inside the court there, you get spread wide like he did there on that first one. And then from there, Grigor's taking his time while and uses athleticism forward of the court. And I think making it physical is important. And you've got, you've got a five-set match that it 
Tiafo played beforehand. He's got through the round of 16. A lot of media and hype around him, I'm sure, and in his internal words. There's a lot of energy being used up. Mm -hmm. And so the more you can expose that side of it during a match. Yeah, it's big. Yet to lose a point on serve. Eight from eight, Dimitrov. As he moves in front. Likes to use the slice in that as well, Tiafo. We saw him in all his previous matches mix it up. Happy to use the slice. He can, he can, if, he, if it's not landing in the right position, he's got the wheels to cover it. He's got to be careful. Yeah, gentleman on the left there is now the head of men's tennis, I think, for the USTA, isn't he? And Grigor will be smart enough to know that balls in play is really important at the start of these matches because you've got to assume your opponent's a little nervous being in this environment for the first time. You don't know how they're going to react. The only way to explore that and exploit it is to keep balls in play. The Russian were discussing this a little earlier on. There's not a lot of margin for error. There's not many RPMs on it. Sometimes it just gets a little caught out. Yeah, when you've got that heavy slice coming at you and it's it's reacting off the strings in a downward motion, you've got to be able to adjust and allow a lot more uh, space over the net. So there's, there's a break point, it's love 40, you're in the rally. I'd love to see Grigor own that point, just totally own that point. He had two balls there, the first one and the second hit, where he could have just gone and owned it. Mm -hmm. Heavy into an area of the court. Got to feel good about your position at love 40 when you've seen some unforced errors. That's the one he leans on. In the pressure moments, that wide one. Actually changed his service motion a couple of years ago. Lowered the ball toss a lot compared to where it was when he first came on tour. Let's see what attitude the returner has here. It's easy up here, but I mean, I've been on the court enough with him to understand that this that's too much thing. That's over-analyzing. Do you know what I mean? So is that a confidence thing right now? Yeah, well, he's, he's he just sort sick. of thought, oh, I've got some break. I've had some unforced errors off the, his racket. I'll wait and let him pull the trigger, but that's where that very first point at Love 40 hurt. Chance to break. Tiafoe only playing his 12th major of his career. Still in very early, early stages for the American. I told you these two are pretty good athletes. I'm sure that's the first of many of those sorts of exchanges. Yes. 
That was a real tester. Well played. That ball there was a tester. If he got that a fraction higher, Grigor was going to be able to hit a different type of shot. Great athleticism. Oh my goodness, we'll have some more of this, won't we? Tremendous tennis on show here. Oh, it's a great rally. How about this shot from Grigor on absolute exposure and then this touch to be able to lob this virtually on the line. Outstanding accelerated pass. Good effort from Dimitrov. Yes. Well, I told you, you have to lift your game, Nick. Mm. This is the second week action. You need to find another level. So far, these two guys have brought that level. Outstanding. It's just TFO was the, remains the youngest ever winner in the Junior Orange Bowl. He was 15 at the time. Gave you an idea of maybe what was to come. <laughs> beat Stefan Kozlov in that final. It was the first ever Orange Bowl where there were two 15-year-olds in the final. So that's the uh, Junior World Championships take place in December. So that's really good viewing there from Tiafo as he came forward to net. That was a judgment call, but it was he was very clear with it. Picked it early. Got a big push going forward at the moment, hasn't he? Serving, the ball's there, I'm hitting it, I'm coming in, I'm going to use my athleticism, I'm going to challenge the athleticism and the shot making of the Bulgarian. He's come in six times already. from both players. At the moment, every bit of the court surface is being used. Outstanding. Yeah, it really is. Thought this might be a good one. So far, it's living up to the billing. Well, they just, they've both got that vision in their mind. They actually see the court and feel like they can play those types of shots. Do you want It's almost like free balling. Intense. <laughs> Just stand up and clap because that is an intense 21 shot rally here. More importantly, the the shots that the Americans playing at the moment, he's bring, he's using his slice down the line, the, then he floats one and just brings in Grigor. It's not like he's bringing in someone six foot seven. Yeah. He's bringing in an athlete. He's just making him do a lot of different things on the tennis court. Over here. My biggest look at this is this is good at 17 minutes in. I'm, I'm going to have be looking very closely at the physical component of this match because I'm sure the five sets will take its it'll play its part at some point if it's played at this level. Over the 
swagger this guy. Well, he did this against Kevin Anderson as well when he got himself into a position. That there was this feeling in his mind that I've got every part of the court under control. Fourth game point for TFO. Change up with the serve and volley. He's been very successful when coming forward so far. Seven of eight now. Forays forward. Good conversion rate, two of these. Really exciting four games, isn't it? Really. I mean, okay, Grigor opened up quick. Both of them got on the board. But that was as good a tennis game for one game that you could wish to see. We saw a bit of everything. Let's see how Grigor responds. Remember, he was love 40 in that game with a couple of easy forehands. Let's second service. So much focus on Dimitrov's second serve, of course. It's an area Achilles' heel of his a lot last year. Just nice time to move forwards there. He's averaging this week 95 miles an hour off the second serve. Of course, that only tells half the story directionally. It's been a few short ones in there. Look at TFO challenge Grigor physically here. Mm -hmm. Just movement, hit that ball, came in, and it's really sort of in your face tennis. 50 on. Forehand's had a fair bit of attention in it as well. It's a pretty, the way it's produced is pretty unique, Rush. Very unique, and it's just the way his take back. So you, you sort of feel like that's an area you can go to, especially with a slice, and just see if you can get a bit of exposure to it. Does it break down? Is there a confidence, is it a confidence thing with his forehand? His backhand is completely different. It's very simple. It doesn't look like there's going to be too many breaking points in that in that shot. Yes, it doesn't have a lot of cover, it's quite flat, but it's very simp simply produced. Certainly look to go after that one. There's Danny, Andre, of course. And he was a former uh, player at the University of Miami, part of the Hurricanes team many years ago. For a very intense five minutes of tennis, things just calming down there momentarily. take back isn't it and there's that sharp kind of yeah. flick at the back of it as he gets the lag to actually gets the pace on it doesn't want to dig himself into a hole that's that he did in the previous service game <laughs> got him Got to remember who you're coming in on. And that ball was always going to go back cross court. You should have been sitting on that. He was, but right here, Grigor's too much speed. 
Beautifully produced shot. Strong over the ball. Like his ability to come forward though and want to take it on. His attacking instincts is yep. really are impressive today. Be careful with Dimitrov though, as you say, you don't want to be, oh, yeah. don't want to be messing around too much with those short volleys. So that's a better place to play to, to go into the backhand side because he's got to get it back and then he's got to use some strength while he's under pressure and at extension to actually force it down the line or try and pull it cross court. Not his easiest option. Yeah, well, you're taking the chip away, aren't you, in many ways from yeah. there? That far deep. Did a great job to defend Grigor, and then he got. Then he actually pushed himself back on the. He forced himself to get back on the baseline because Tiafo was just belting the ball there for a while, and he wouldn't have been happy with this. Piece. Who's the set bigger for in your eyes? This first set. I think maybe Gregor. I, don't know. I guess the reason I say that is he's probably come and expected to win this match. People are probably expecting him to win this match for TFO. He's a, I would say he's a, he's a little more of a free spirit, probably in terms of where he's at in his career right now. Again, I've not been down there at that stage, so I don't know. But just seeing it from an outsider's perspective, that would be my gut instinct. Yours? Feel free to disagree, quite happy. Yeah, I will feel free. <laughs> I think Francis needs to win it to win the match. Yeah. That's my opinion. I mean, I, I think it gives him his, when I say his best chance, and that's not that's the obvious, right? Because, mm. yeah, he's at one set up. But I feel like Grigor can navigate his way through. And if, he wins a, if Grigor wins the first set, I think he just grows. Yes. That's all. Yeah. Adams. Chanda Rubin there as well. Look at that. It runs on board. Yes. Of course, uh, Katrina was the uh, president for the USTA for a number Ladies of years. Patrick Galbaith, the manager, taken over. And there's Chanda. So doing a lot of media work these days. Good player Chanda Rubin was back in the 90s. Oh, he's taken that very early indeed. And that's his way home off the second serve, I think. Put pressure on it, just keep building the pressure. You never know what's coming. The location hasn't been there for Grigor. That was unfortunate. That was a. Good serve, got exactly the ball he would have liked. And he forced a little bit, courtesy of the athleticism of the American. Let's see if he can look after his first break point. Uh, uh. 
he's got it. What an injection of pace from TFO. Better return. Martin Blackman in the uh, on the second from left there as well. General manager of the USTA player development in the blue. shot from Grigor just getting that little bit of it I like it when he flights it a little bit more rip up the back of the ball it's a big game for the American isn't it because you you've played a 15, You've 30. held your game at Love 40. You played a really good game to break. And then here, you've, if you secure this game, that's another statement that you've made to the 20th seed. It's also been, yeah, it's also been a very intense half an hour, isn't it? Yeah. To hand it back with... to Dimitrov. Probably played a couple too many backhands here. Tiafro. Could have engaged his forehand a lot early in the rally. He hit two balls through the middle of the court that were that he could have used his forehand, so he's in trouble. There's that tensity of backhand. Ball went up high, so he tried to roll over the top of it. There was no acceleration on the ball. This is where this is where Grigor is going to be extremely clear. The message had to be extremely clear how to play the break points. I want you to go after the break points. Hit it into the big parts of the court. Use your weapon. Fishing for that return, wasn't he? Quite sure what happened there, whether he just didn't pick it up or tentative. TFO now has saved all six break points and have come his way. TFO, that's not clear thinking. Gets his way back to Juice. He's had some really problem areas for Grigor on the backhand side. He should have been hammering that side again, exposing any area where it might benefit him. But he went for a lob, and he shot up the line. All good learning. This is what he's got, though. He's got the ability. This is where he's dangerous. He's got the ability, Nick, to kill the ball, mm. to finish the point, because he can accelerate and explode on the ball. This is 149 Ks.
He's come through some lengthy service games in this opening set. This would be another big one. A little suggestion that he's being mentally strong out here. Certainly focused. There's a game away from the first set. Five gives to three. Lucky sinking as well, went to serve volley. Got served into the back end. I'm probably going to get a chip. I'll serve volley. And then he was also prepared to go the forward part of the court. 50 left. It's worth a challenge, isn't it? 5 3. Especially when you've got three in the bag. Third ace for Dimitrov. Got a brother, of course, to also play the game, plays the game. Oh, that's very 30, tentative and lacking conviction, that volley. He almost made it. This is off the charts tennis. Tiffin <laughs> taking the ball so early in that rally. Funny because he, because he's playing a lot of shots in and putting them in awkward positions, isn't he? But mm. and at the other end of the court, though, there's a man that's got such a big skill set that he can he can handle it. But it's also taking his taking himself off center, if you know what I mean. It's a nice way to seal that game. Well, he knew his return was going long, didn't he? <laughs> Mr. Dimitrov is changing the ball on the right hand side. Ball was for Dini. I think it was good. It was just, I think it was a frustrated challenge. And he knew the ball was going yeah, long off the return. He, just, he wasn't expecting a 140 kilometer second, uh, first serve. So smart thinking. Mr. Dimitrov has two challenges for me. From Francis there, I mean, that, you know, under pressure, love 15, could have gone bomb and big, but he just thought, I need to get this one out there. Surprise, I know I'm going to get a chip return. Great depth. 
trying to take the ball early, but landing within a couple of inches of the baseline, coming in flat and hard. Good defense from the American. Equally as impressive was Grigor just being aggressive from here. That, that, that was great movement when he moved forward so quickly. Wrong idea to slice that last ball. Surprise. TFO not moving a muscle. He went the other way, actually. He actually jumped because he, he thought, you watch this, he, from here, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it. He actually jumped the other way, thinking it might come back into the backhand pocket. That's a I mean, that is outstandingly precise. Break point number eight for the Bulgarian. No first serve, it's been one first serve in this game. And there is the break. Five against all. There's a little serve and volley and the sneaks work well so far, but not on that occasion. Right play for you from TF on that last point. It was okay. I mean, he had, a, he had a volley, which wasn't too bad, but he just he blinked a little bit in that game. That's the bottom line. It was 5-4. He could see, you know, just close out the set. Did well at 15 all, but then they were just... Good response. Good first point response. I like that there's been no fuss after that. You know, you're serving for one set to love lead. It's a big moment for him and then he's played this calmly so quickly got on with the job Special tennis on show. Some big major muscle groups just doing some work here, Nick, as well. <laughs> and Grigor. There was actually a pretty good leave at the end as well because the ball didn't miss by that much either, did it? No. He's in a kind of nonchalant sort of way, TFO, doesn't he? Outwardly. Rashawn Dimitrov again. Love 30. second it was 100, 150 k's so short and attackable Disgruntled look after that miss. Shoulders dropping a little. Two break points for the American. Got that. Got to own the points. Win or lose them from here. Is that sometimes an example, Russia, where you can get into the forehand with pace where he doesn't quite get the connection? Potentially. Mm. It has to be too critical because he did it well, hasn't he? Yeah.
certainly hit that one well. This guy's mainline. What an effort. I mean, how well he defended the initial return here to make it difficult for Dimitrov. For Grigor to jump like that, it means it's a bullet. Just seeing his creativity as well. You don't often see a lot of it. But he sees a big court right here, even with the athleticism. But Rigor was not ready for that. He was sitting in the backhand corner. Much better job here of trying to close it out. Oh. Made more first serves as well. It's a loose slice, and here are three set points. This is Zach Evenden. I wonder his uh, entourage is growing. Second serve points one, he's five of 15 as TFO in that department. Thankfully, the first serve percentage has remained very high. That was a very special set of tennis. It's a long way to go, but he's a third of the way towards the quarterfinals, Francis TFO. Leads the 20th seed, 7 5. Love 15. Looking for a few changes here from Gregor, Rash, or are we, uh, what well, are we looking for from him? I don't think so. I think he had he created opportunities and then just didn't, didn't get aggressive with them. This is a really big game for him. This is a game where you, he will need to respond and stick his chest out a little. Oh. Reset, start the process again. You sit down knowing that that game, that set could have gone either way. solid because you don't know what his opponent's thinking after he's dropped a set. Oh, sorry, after he's a set up. You know, can he, does he get ahead of himself? Can he just stay in the moment that he's in? So you've just got to be really secure up your end. What we did see from TFO was especially against Kevin Anderson when he had his back to the to the wall, that he was able to play a level and then hold it for a long period of time. And obviously to come, come back and win in five, Game against Seppi, he five. was able to respond again. So First game, he's here. He went and, and, then, and then you want three or four years of staying there and owning it mm. you know so he's 28 he wants to be from between 28 and 32 33 wants to be owning that space Where, wherever that is whatever number that is but it needs to be in the top top group mm. he went from winning 49 matches the season before to uh, 24 
A couple of difficult draws, didn't he? As we said, he played Vavrinka twice at the majors in the first round, which I know you've got to beat who's in front of you, but... Wow. Special. He brings a level of skill that not many... Not many have. And we generally see it when it's in extreme moments. That was one of them. Shot that one up the line. You were obviously holding the backhand a little bit. You can see here he hits here and he holds. Gee, that flat. The ball just basically stayed the same. There was zero rotation. Really had a drop in level, is he? That one game, and yes, maybe. Shot. Yeah. I mean, that was that was a great slice from Grigor. You'd be expecting that you're going to get involved in the next ball that comes over, but there's a vicious strike of the ball up the line. <laughs> Grigor will know that his opponent's playing a really high level, probably a higher level point by point that he's played for a long time so he just needs to massage this he needs to just stay strong in his serve yeah. and not actually let what's going on up the other end affect him because they're you just got to expect that there may if i can just stay level there may be a time i'm going to be i'm going to get a flat period mm. so you can't all i'm saying is you can't panic and just play low percentage tennis she's oh. the other side of the racket there Thank you. Now, I think it was I think it was Francis against Seppi who played this amazing shot like that and hit a winner on a big moment in his previous round Yeah, he's going to be worth the admission a fair few times, isn't he, Francis TFO? They both are. Yeah. Dimitrov's second serve numbers, he hasn't actually... He's defended it pretty well. He's won 11 of 18 so far. So, good goal, good aim, good hold, excuse me.
That's what I want to see from Grigor is set his point up and then be very aggressive with the forehand with his direction and challenge his opponent more in, on defence. Problems to get deal with here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's outstanding calmness. That's the number one part for me is that he's calm enough. Yes, he sees Grigor's going to go back because he's, he's created Grigor's movement going backwards because he's been so heavy from that position of the court. As soon as he takes that step back, it exposes that forward half. Perfect. How good has he been doing that? Again, calm, clear vision. Ball goes into that position of the court here. I mean, that's a great shot because he has to approach from behind the base. And look how quickly he comes here with those three steps. And then he nice. Right there. Bang. I was just thinking that same thing. He's, he's explosive. His first step is explosive, isn't it? But all along he gives you a chance. Rigor needs to get something going there. He's sided to his box and he's, he's got to get the. He's got to get that energy flowing. I need to hear him and feel him. Mm. At the moment I don't, I feel like it's what I'm taking more notice of his opponent. And the you know what I mean? Totally, court. yeah. He's having more of a presence, isn't he? More of a presence. Really sneaky wide serve, so short that TFO is able to use effectively. Oh. He continues to win the big points, doesn't he? Change, the old balls as well, that's a good hold. Two games off. was a remarkable story. His, his family actually won the lottery in uh, in Sierra Leone, not financially, but well, probably could sit from a financial point of view, but they actually won a, a green card lottery in Sierra Leone. There were only about 50,000 of them that were given out, I was reading the other day. His mum put them in and they won. And this was when, the, when the, he wasn't even born. Got the opportunity, the family, to there move to the States. Two boys were born. Working day and night, and here we are. His dad's Franklin. Often see him around. Great change of direction there. Generally, his backhand. Actually, the first one's been going cross court. This time, the young American went up the line and exposed Dimitrov. Cleanest four and he's ever hit, but ended up effective. Changed his frame, didn't he, a little bit a couple of years ago? What is, what is he using now, Rashford? You know what frame he's got? Well, he made a change and then he went back to 
is traditionally old one, but I think, again, now there's been a small tweak over the summer. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it it's one heck of a shot from behind him. Give it up, please. Three games to two. He's hitting coming out of his shoes to hit that forehand, but you know, when you're getting Dimitrov on the run like that off a yeah, right. oh. <laughs> that is quite unbelievable. <laughs> Did he said, Yeah, right. Well, uh, you know, he was. It was a little late, but he's, this is what he's got in his toolkit because he's got the ability just, look at that, make an adjustment. That was a knife. That was a forehand, a backhand slice that they don't happen very often. Let's for service. Just saw the graphic there with the amount of slice he's hitting. He's hitting a little more today, Dimitrov, than he has been in previous rounds. Clearly missed. Yep. Right best line. Ball was I'm agreeing with Grigor there. Clearly missed. He got it, got himself exposed. The American. He, when he ran around his forehand, you've either got to, your location's got to be so precise down the line. But if it's going towards the middle, someone with the speed of Grigor is going to eat that up and expose you as he just did then. 15-13. Mr. Temple has two challenges remaining. When he's been in trouble on serve, he's generally been out of recover. Oh, yeah, that is a poor miss. I haven't been too many of those. Let's look for Grigor to be aggressive here. Again, give it up. Doesn't have to. Give it up, leads four games to two. That's kind of real dip, isn't it, in his level? I know he was broken serving at 5-4, but there was a fair bit going on there, but that was just the first, perhaps, just drop in, in level. Was there to capitalize. And that's the beauty of the sport. The sport, if you stay around long enough without the there's no time clock running mm -hmm. it down. So you've got to get through the whole journey. It's not going to be given to you at this level, especially your second week of a major. Liked his ability to respond, mate. When he's that's a real asset. If, if, you're, if you're coaching a young man like this and you're looking, I'm looking at the responses after things aren't going your way. Mm. So far, he's ticked the box on a couple of occasions first in the first set and right here now. Half 
volley up the line was pretty special. Changing direction here. Not too shabby finish either. on the line. Again, this guy showing some good bounce back ability here. His conversion rate's impressive when he's had the break points. Two of three up until now. racket he committed to it he understood exactly what he was was after can't blame him for that Katrina Adams again there alongside Chanda Rubin does he step in and go for it again I wouldn't be surprised and both gave each other a break I would rather that ball from here be up the line and it's test his passing shot out on the move. Nice slice up the line, bit of traditional. Mm. Too cute in the stage, do you? We've seen it because he's got because he's got a good imagination in his mind. It's it's not about right now. It's about lock in, secure this back out. You've got the break back secure to four all. Throw the balls up the other end and and challenge your opponent. finding that amusing but certainly this man didn't and those ones that just hung in the air as well so even more agonizing again two unforced errors in this game tightens things up could have gone back into the backhand side secured it got yourself in a position potentially to be 15-40. Let for service. Correctly. 30, 40. Options so far in this game haven't been of the highest quality, and he finds himself in this situation. Not courtesy of good play from his opponent. And 
that's exactly why I was calling for the point at 15. At 30 15, Nick. That style of point. It's got a lot more security around it for him. Mm -hmm. You don't need you don't need to be the highlights reel at this stage of the match. You need to get the job done. <laughs> Got the short reply and there was no hesitation here. a good match player rash that's kind of what you're talking about isn't it i say someone's a good match yeah. player they're understanding the situation they find themselves in and, and just how good their tennis has to be yeah and i think that, that'll come more with more big matches that he plays obviously he's grown enormously over this last week mm. with the getting to this stage but there's still obviously more to more to do And Grigor at the team. moment looks unsure. He's not, you know, he, as I mentioned before, I don't see the presence mm. of him on the court right now. So mm. He needs to fire up. Yeah, I haven't seen much emotion from him. Mona, Mona. There you go. Yeah. Miss, isn't it? There. Yeah. He has the pressure on him now. Unforced errors. Dimitrov. 18 so far. But smart. And we knew it was coming, didn't you? Yeah, because he's been all over. He's been inside the baseline on the second seven. He hasn't been shy about just hitting it and coming in. Then he uses that athleticism here. And for Grigor, he doesn't see space around him. Good point, safe point. Thank you. Massive couple of points here. 30 40. Number seven, fourth of the set. And you feel like he needs, he just needs that to get out of, to get out of jail here. Ball in play, I'm not liking the feel out there. TFO's gone here. This is impressive. Three very big serves with accuracy. Mm. 207, that one. Above his average, averaging 196 in terms of pace off the first. He tried something different, didn't he? But the result was the same.
Good serve, got, got some bounce off the court there. He's got a good ability to, to create action on the off the court with the ball. Oh, it's well played. That was very positive. That was a good positive point as soon as he got his forehand. So it was for Tiafo, he made an error. He went backhand, backhand, then he went to the forehand pretty easily. And then Grigor got aggressive to control smart play. a rally length but it's just more so how you play the point and the American just went after it He hasn't come forward anywhere near as much in set number two as he did in set number there one. But Just drop this over, 30 all, four five down. Don't worry, though, I'm playing someone who's ultra lightning quick. <laughs> so casual. Stroke a genius. Fifteen thirty, no problem. It's been the story of the day. Cool under pressure. Yeah, there hasn't been any panic. There's been a couple of wrong shot selections at time that has caused him to get into some trouble. But outside of that, there, has, it, there hasn't been explosive panic tennis where he's tried to hit his way through irrationally. Fourth we go. Both these guys landing punches in this critical stage. Oh, yeah. Taking it early. There's once again Zach Evan. Then as we see the guy that travels with Francis almost every week. Francis actually spent a month at his house in London earlier in the last year or later part of last year. Sort of a free hit at 40 love down when you love 40 down or 40 love. And if you get close, all of a sudden it gets tight again. Well, let's play ball. Oh. Yeah, it's just an ex it's really exposed. The second serve, hasn't it? 
in some really important moments. It's not necessarily speed so much, but more direction. It's mm. just standardly in this pocket where it's in the hitting area. Yeah. Has needed the first serve to get him some free points. It's good effort there from Grigor. That ball was always going to be slapped flat and hard, and to, for you to just to step up in and try and attack that, it's not the easiest point of connection. Turn. Simple with the backhand volley, technically it's pretty sound, isn't it? It's a... I would rather test the forehand volley out because that backhand volley is just out in front, simple. Not much goes wrong with it. Change of direction. With disguise. Holds the court well, doesn't he? Doesn't get pushed back too often. You've got to hit the ball extremely big. Look at that, he steps inside the court. to read it, Dimitrov, but just wasn't there. Not in position, and we're into a buster here. And it's a buster you feel, Roger. Dimitrov has to win. Yeah, I think this is a non-negotiable play from Grigor. I mean, who are you leaning with? Tough to go away from this guy right now, I've got to say. Yeah, there's a bit of confidence there, isn't there? It off the line. That was a great, that was 212 and Tiafo was moving forward on that. Really good defense from Dimitrov. to play things out have you? you've got to be very secure in the way you deal with your service points <laughs> got the ball he wanted didn't he forehand there he had time
Well done. Oh, in the point. Got the second serve in. In the play, then immediately went and owned it with his forehand. They know. Coach and staff of Dimitrov, they know the importance of this next point to create some space. This position you can hardly believe he's lost the point can you hesitation he who hesitates loses that's the phrase isn't it and he has waited and waited there and somehow tfo stole on the point Come back. Love the aggression off the second serve. The start off. And here's 4 2 for Dimitrov. And he needed to be aggressive because he had to he had to push aside what just took place and, and get after it again and really be instinctive about what he was gonna get what he was gonna do. He was a lot better point. Good response. Switch ends with the Bulgarian with the lead. Had a few of those though in this set. It was a good slice return, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Floated a few, but that was a nasty one. That's a tough ball to hit into the forehand pocket as well because you come, it's low, you're going to go inside in. Dimitrov's going to be there, he's going to have a full swing at a forehand, so you try and rush it there. Generally drags into the bottom of the net. Tennis. Plenty of intent to the point. It's quite a good breaker, isn't it? From the moment he missed that, he lost that point. And he hesitated. He has played an outstanding breaker here. for Dimitrov. Oh, no way. I mean, you just cannot believe this guy sometimes. <laughs> you got to stand up and tip your hat to that because that was outstanding. This is a great shot from Grigor, and look at the casual display <laughs> as he saves a set point. Uh, it's laughable how good that was. Thank you. A tremendous dig. It's 
it? Think it's missed. It's missed. Six on. What drama I mean, here. I mean, he has... It is his 21st birthday, but... <laughs> I'm not going to forget it, it's only that. What courage he had, though. He just... He, he went on the attack, and he had two, and he, and he... The American... There was a mishit forehand, comes in and just backs himself, and... Hugo just took his eye, fraction off the... Off the ball and looked at the target. This is an enormous... Please. Thank First you. serve. Whew, and that was short. Didn't let his arm go. Look out for the American on the move. Wow. Seven, six. Oh, let's turn around here. Not easy to watch for them or Dimitrov's fans in here. This has switched dramatically. Thank you. TFO at set point. Francis TFO has a two sets to love lead. What a turnaround in the breaker. The American firmly on track now for a first major quarter final. TFO to start the third. And if you're TFO, this game, I mean, you've got to understand how big this game is. You might say I'm two sets to love up. I'm, I'm, you, know, you can sit down and think, oh, I'm OK. I'm home. Two sets to love. Mm. But no, <laughs> momentum can change dramatically in, in a short moment. And so this game really sort of just keeps the pressure. He stays ahead on the scorecard all the time, moving forward. Nice. And that will create those pressure moments. Looked almost must feel as though he's invincible today. Paul uh, oh, just getting away from the uh, poor boy down there. That's a good strike. Too far, a little. Shy with this shot. Over spinning that one. It's good, I like that. He urged himself on, he knows the importance of the game. feeling in, isn't he? Mm, no wonder. There's the match, the win predictor, excuse me, and a very good sized swing towards TFO now. And what he does so well, he challenges you with his presence on the on the court, and he's grown in growing in that area, as I said, since he played Kevin Anderson, a set and a half down. Mr. It's a good challenge here. Yeah, you know, I felt like it was wide through the air. Second 
15-13. He's pushing here, the young American. He can feel this is his time to grab hold of the match. out well he gets on the return really quickly 139 so that's not big enough for a start it's not it hasn't got enough action around it and then he actually presses you for time Grigor's great at the adjustments but that's uh it's getting overbearing now oh, does he need some more of those 30 40. Him, would you, the way he's been playing? <laughs> well, you can see if Grigor gets access to his first serve, he's, he does a good job behind that. Needs another one. That's an excellent hold. One He's taken a lot of rough blows today. There's Dimitrov taking some pretty tough shots. It's, it's a great out. Yeah. Just to survive. He's got to survive now. And the impressive thing with this shot is it's short backswing, but he's just got natural power, hasn't he? Like from here. TFO's played this match today, isn't it? Whenever the pressure's been on, he's actually produced even better tennis. You know, it's he's relaxed. Yeah, his arm's yeah. relaxed. It's not... There hasn't been tension through his arm or his no. body. Oh. Let for service. That's a good sign when you're scouting someone to see that they can, they can play free. 30-15. Well, you can challenge your own serve, of course. Is that too late? No, but what is he challenging though? It's been called good. He's yeah, challenging. So it's in play. Oh, uh, sorry, of course, yes. So it's in play, so he Well <laughs> he was he, waiting for a call. To yes, but he can still out. challenge the call, can't he? He can still challenge that serve, no? Am I wrong? I don't think so. Not on not on the opposition side. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't maybe you're right, yeah. What if he had have served a ball and they called it out, he could challenge. But yes. if the ball goes in play and everyone plays a point... Yeah, but how's that different from a call, no call on the other end? Because if there's no call, you can still challenge the call because you think there is, hasn't been one. Yeah. We'll have to check that one. I'm not sure 100% sure about that. We'll get back to you. 2-1 <laughs> Two -one here in this third set. Fifteen. Keep it rolling, though.
15 up. Petrov making the quarterfinals here the last couple of years. Of course, that semi final he played here two years ago. One will live long in the memory. Yeah, it's Nadal in the semi finals with a five set marathon. Looking a little subdued from an emotional standpoint, but uh, that's another good game. And the reality is it's been 7-5, seven, 7-6. Seven, There's tight tennis. This is tight tennis. It's not, uh, yep, there have been a few hurdles that he's hit Grigor when he's been in position to get them and uh, embrace the moment. But he's just going to remember that, that he's, uh, he's around it. Mm. So just, just stay tight. Keep it a, he won't like that type. That was the first time he actually tried to hit the return. So maybe they've decided to get after the return. Let's get through the backhand return. That was the first sign of being aggressive off the second serve return. why they're probably suggesting you know come over a few more returns that ball that, that slice even though it's a quality shot it gives the serve a real clear access it's not looking good is it Just, just dropped, obviously, given the score line. He's looking a little down on his luck. And for me, as I said, I, and I've been banging on about this, but it's just the presence of both players on the court. The American looks like he's the big seed mm. playing at the moment. Gonna make too many of those. Three games to two. Of course, if he can get there, he'll face Big either Nadal or Burdick. We've just started on Rob Labour. Good to see Burdick back. Mm. Fit, healthy, dangerous floater. Six months out of the game, Burdick had last year. So didn't find Stein in Doha making the final. It's a spe special return. It's a great, it's a great return. There's no doubt about that. Here's the average backhand topspin rate. A lot more revolutions off the racket of the Bulgarian. Yeah, and of course that needs a bit of context. The average is about 2,000, so you're getting an idea that TFOs is pretty low. Medvedev, just for an example, who hits a very, very flat back, and he's usually about 1 3 to 1 4, so not too much spin on the TFO back end, I think, is uh, what we're trying to tell you.
What a great ability to bump that ball back 211 kilometres an hour. And he's bunted that ball back deep and it's set up the point for him. And now there's this is huge trouble. Really is. It's long. TFO knew it. Dimitrov. I want to see it once more. And I think he has to accept it as well. He knew it off the racket. It was just a challenge. It's a frustration. Four games to two. Played a shot Stephanie that wasn't. Has two challenges remaining. That's a confident playing shot when you actually go for that shot. That, that's someone who's really confident, got real control of the ball, and that shot wasn't on at that particular moment. Anyways, a long way back right here. And the only thing you'd say, will Tiapo look at the finish line now? Does he actually look ahead? What I've seen over as he's progressed through the tournament is that he'll be stable enough here to hold. And also what I'm seeing from the other side of the court, I'm not sure is going to be good enough to challenge that mindset. Of course, we had an American in the quarterfinals here last year, didn't we, in tennis Sangren? An American male has won a major though since Roddick, way back when. Ticket for the sport. An American right at the top of it uh, from a global perspective, I guess I'm thinking. Uh, uh, from a financial uh, point of view as well, Rush. Pro 15, probably. 15. Yeah. We've got a few coming through. Mm. Good point from Grigor here. That was one of his better four ends of the day. Yeah. Just a little moment here for him as well. And Good little comeback here. We didn't see this. Well, if he is to find a way back into this match, surely he has to take one of these chances. What a hit. That is outstanding from Dimitrov. Didn't see that coming, I have to say. But he has found a way to break. Small well button. He actually maintained a very good first serve percentage over the course of the match, Dimitrov. But the seventh is in this set. Ooh, there's a 
there's a bit of frustration from him as well. And maybe, maybe he is thinking about, I mean, you can't help but think about the finish line. But there was so much security in his game. And there wasn't up the other end of the court, but maybe that break of servers slowly changing it. Because this has been a very good service game from Grigor. Just what the doctor ordered. I love hold. Now Andre Agassi enjoyed success on these courts. They were a different colour when he was playing, of course. In the 90s. I think it was four times Andre won here, wasn't it? Yep. going on here that's six points in a row for Dimitrov Chanda Rubin isn't this the place you don't want to blink now oh it's a poor miss just, you feel like you just needed to make France's play there. Had to, didn't he? Yeah, totally. Because it wasn't a great approach, was it? Either? <laughs> Anything but. Well, I think that found the line. It looked, it looked clean off his racket. Grigord doesn't feel confident right now. You can see in his nature, he's just hoping this sneaks in. Oh, it has! <laughs> <laughs> One millimetre in. That's enough. Here we go. Too many guys you'd want in your corner, more on this guy, would there? Doesn't seem so close now, does it, the finish line? It's not meant to be easy either. It's regardless of your scoreline, because you can't help but take that look ahead. It takes a very strong person who's been in the situation so many times before to, to eliminate all that. These are brand new experiences for the American. We're not sure how he's going to react. So it's fascinating viewing. That's a big double. It was a big second, 173. Take 
you want if Dimitrov can win this game. Change the context of the match completely. What he could do to TFO as well. Fascinating to watch him throughout the course of the first week. I mean, his natural ability to explode on the ball and just take over the court. And throw a lot of Thank you. big punches. Defensive lob. Most people would just be trying to look to get this back into play, not this guy. Of all the shots he's hit today, this might just be the best. Dimitrov looks resigned to his fate, though, here. He's <laughs> looking across as if to say, are you sure? How did you just produce that? Oh, can you believe it? They're both of the chair. That's unbelievable. <laughs> and now he's got to hit second serve. the second serve here. You heard from Rigo, oh my god, because it, they're not, they don't necessarily have those big misses. It's a concerning thing for me is Grigor, if he doesn't make his first serve, his second serve location is very standard. Mm. There hasn't been any variation, there hasn't been just to shift Tiafo off his mark. Yeah. Second serve points one in this set for Dimitrov, just one of five. Yeah. He just needs him to fight. Smart ball. Hats off to the young American. That's a smart ball. Heavily flighted ball into the backhand side of Grigor. His hardest shot to deal with. Single-hander. Especially when you consider the new balls as well, Rash. Yeah. They'll be jumping up off this court. Oh. 
40-30. Well, if there is any element of him as well that's feeling it physically, and, you know, if he's just feeling a little bit of cramp, we don't know, but as you said, it's even more fuel for, for Dimitrov oh. to keep him out here. You never know. I mean, you... When he brings, I mean, that's just beaten by pace here. That's just pure explosive pace. It's beaten Grigor. But if you've got, if you're Grigor, you're sitting down, you saw the physio come out. This game's big for you. If you can extend it to a fourth set, you've got to use any piece of fuel you can right now. Let's see if we still get the backhand body location on this serve. Swung a little bit more to the forehand hit. Changed the movement pattern of the American. very proudly huge over there at the moment over the last four or five years which the Maleva family were pretty huge a few years ago weren't they but uh, I think even fair to say that Grigor's taken it to a different level to you, Rash, it just doesn't look like TFO's quite got the energy he had in his physical side 15, 20 minutes ago. Do you know what I mean by his body language? Yeah, a little bit. And I, th I just think the, the moment of seeing the end mm. plays its part. It's, it's all brought onto his side of the court. Series of Grigor wasn't making when he was a top 10 player. When he was, you know, that's just a clean, he'd make that shot. It's a big moment. Love, love 15. That's an out for his opponent. So he's throwing a lot of heavy blows. Started with the 179 first serve. We've got doing a lot of heavy work through the legs. He was doing a court sprint there, wasn't he? One side to the other. Thank you. It's Dimitrov. A couple of games, I feel like the match turns completely on its head mm. if this goes to a fourth. Completely. in the two-second service, isn't it? So there's 
Francis, who's got a bit of variety in his second serve, more pop, more bounce. Grigor's been very much structured in direction, and speed's been about 20 kilometers left mm. in that on the big moments. Well, he has made him play a couple of volleys, which is something we were a little critical of earlier on. He's asked him a question there. It was a pretty casual point, to be honest. Mm. Is that casual because physically he's feeling it, or is that just the way he is? I'm not sure. I think, as I said, we're, this is great data. We're learning a lot about the young American under this pressure. Let's not forget he had a five-setter against Andrea Seppi in the previous round. And those matches, when you when you talk about people playing five sitters, there can be some quick ones where there's a lot of firepower, there's quick points played, or there could be ones that are extended through the rallies. And Seppi was one of those matches. It's only the sixth time in the match he served a volley, but of course the second time in a row off that side. I oh, know he's feeling it for sure. Just feeling the pressure of it as well. Dig from Dimitrov, but the racket was on the ball. Had a good look at it. Wow, wow, wow. Great point for Dimitrov. I actually can't remember how many aces is that. That's seven for the match, four for this set. I can't remember the one that's gone through the middle. Three of 14 on the break points now. Nice, there's big change right here on this match. And it's a physical one. Yeah, of those 14 break points Dimitrov's had, TFO's only had to hit four second serves. Yes. The trend continues. So the physical part of this match, which is now in play, it's whether Grigor can extend the match to really use it to his advantage. He's absolutely snapping at that miss. Jack Evans out of his chair again. TFO survives a mammoth game. And this is the beauty about five set tennis. This is the beauty about majors and getting through and winning one and what's needed. And obviously this is the furthest he's got. So this is all experience, but 
30 low. Did he hear a let? Huh? Oh, yeah. You know I hit the net. Interesting. Dimitrov not engaging in that. Yeah, a bit of guessing on the serve, so quick points. You can have all control for two hours and I suppose 35 minutes from the last seven or eight minutes. It's a completely different look on the tennis court. Interesting as well, because it sort of feels like Dimitrov's playing a bit quicker, isn't he? To give him actually less time. I know it's been a quick game, but Dimitrov's up to the line quickly. And if your body does lose condition, once it doesn't, and we've seen him trying to replace a lot of, put a lot of nutrients in there, and you may not be able to get it back. Yes, he's strong and he's athletic, but you know there's been a lot of wear and tear physically and emotionally in his body leading to this stage. In the previous round, before he played Seppi, he had a long one, as you say, with Kevin Anderson, five in the fourth. Yep. And I can tell you, Grigor has got a two zero. And at least another two hours left out of that body. Mm. That's not going anywhere. Mm. It's a lot, it's a lot more matured body, gone through a lot more pre seasons. Still, that was. And what a turnaround here. And all that shot says to me is that he understands exactly the physical difficulties that's going on up the other end of the court. The last thing he wants to do is sprinting like that at the moment. Let me try three love. This is going to continue for a long while. That's my prediction. <laughs> Go and fill the kettle up. Although, of course, which was up 6 3 in the first set breaker. Got a different type of athlete up the other end, though. Let's. First service. Getting much out of him. He's keeping it all under lock and key, his emotions. Brugal. Yeah. You're going to get a fairly big roar, I think, at the end of this. Needs to let something out <laughs> if he claims his set. <laughs>
And if he does, Nick, I'd be sprinting to the chair mm. just to show that I've got a fair bit left in the tank. <laughs> Two hours and 48 minutes they've been on court. And uh, in the trough, we'll just get a, a little breather here. Paul Ness has stayed courtside, the physio. One of those Photox came courtside to capture the winning moment probably about 10 minutes ago. Doesn't materialize that way. Five chances for Dimitrov to reduce the gap. Not seeing the desperation out of the American, which is weird, isn't it? You know, like I just got one tiebreaker to play. I got a lockdown, regardless of how I'm feeling. It's a magnificent effort from Grigor Dimitrov. Dimitrov who looks to be packing his bags here. Andre's out of his seat. Tennis. Take a look at this. Grigor looks fresh. He's moving extremely well. That was a great hit with power, but that's just, that's just a ridiculous talent. That's all it is. He meant that. Loved it as well, didn't he? Why not? not so many I'd returns like, coming back now. You know, I'd, like, I'd like the win predictor right now. Mm. Be interesting to see where that leans. He might get it shortly. Game Dimitrov. First game for Clips. when he finishes and here's the predictor at the moment so I'm actually I was yeah, you're almost on, close right on it 10% swing and you can even notice when the points finish the way the young American is walking Every time something like this happens, that's a brilliant piece of vision captured there. skillful initiatives to pick it up he was lucky but yeah that was just degree of skill in there too and this is his way forward he's got to he's got to get shorter with his points but what it's doing have you know i'm not sure if grigor's game all of a sudden looks a lot more secure mm. making a lot more balls yeah very sure about himself Oh. 
Thirty. Well, often obviously an indication to a player's physical status how long they're taking between points, and Tefo taking a little longer. Interesting to know if that's changed over the course of the maybe the last sort of 25 minutes or so. We're told by Hawkeye downstairs that first smash was out, Rash. And so were the crowd telling him as well. They were telling Grigor it was out. Wow. Good effort. Oh, it's a great effort. That's the type of hitting he's going to have to do if the ball's there. He's got access to it. He's going to have to step in and actually get very proactive with it because I just... Well, maybe he's going to weather a little storm here, just physically inside. And So we can't... We can't we're only going from a visual. But it's a good hold just to lock in... That's what he doesn't have at the moment. That no. next movement. Exactly. That wasn't happening for a couple of sets, was it? He was that, that ball wouldn't have beaten him in the first two sets. Two and a half sets. I don't know if he's going to be coming back on in a minute. Oh dear. That's a weak second. He did miss it, it's a poor miss. He was in the box seat, 30 all. <laughs> Dimitrov actually hit a good backhand pass. I don't yeah. know, it may not make any difference whether you heard the call, but it was a good hit, wasn't it? Yeah, off pass. the pass, yeah. <laughs> so, could argue he's been sort of hard done by as well there. I think he'd like the first serve, though. Yes. I'll take the first serve again. We saw that in the second set, didn't we? 30-14. Fourth double, but it's given TFO potentially a lifeline. <laughs> Unreturned serves from Dimitrov in this set are a lot higher. 63%, obviously only five from eight, but getting as many balls back into play. Just 
Chapel. Lent for service. See with this location lands and how big it is. Oh, another late call. Yes. Why wouldn't you challenge it anyway? It's got three. May have been long. Told by Hawkeye, it was long. Oh. 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 Got a little second windy in this game. Francis as well. Control of the point there, didn't he? Yeah. He's controlled quite a few points in this particular game. Swing and a miss from TFO. Dimitrov comes through a testing service game. With the lack of conditioning, Bulgarian can naturally sense it. He's seeing the change of body language. There's one saving grace. Francis is that he's got the ability to hit these big winners. 22, he's had off the forehand side. 17 to... Grigor. It's whether he's going to be able to keep the points a little shorter and under his control. Change of the grip. Dimitrov forced to Two for the Hail Mary there. So in the first four games, there's no, there hasn't been any extra decline from Francis. So he's sort of stabilised, really. This is his, this looks like it's going to be his space. salt that he got down him and you can only assume uh, that's what it was or something along those lines. He lost four points on serve in this set as Dimitra, who's coming in his previous service game.
You can see here, look at this ball here. This wasn't hit too wide of Francis. Let that go. To run through that one. He's dealing with a few other competitors, isn't he? It's not just the Bulgarian up the other end. Opportunity here for Dimitrov. It's the only way out. To be honest, because when balls in play, you've got a really fresh Grigor Dimitrov still after three hours and eleven minutes. Yeah. That's a good way out. Yeah. I wouldn't rely on it. <laughs> Still got work to do here at 30 all though. Two poor errors, really, to kick it off. Three Stepped up to the mark there, the TFO. So three apiece. To do that, Grigor then doesn't need to expose himself to that activity there. The opportunity to serve a double fold, he needs to just stay true to himself, understand what his opponent's got going on at the other end. There's a poor double fold. 30 15. Didn't linger though, thankfully, from his perspective. Pretty rapidly here to 19 now. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the voice of Francis TFO. He's just three. done our job for us there. Thank <laughs> you. 
coming out of the middle of the racket? I don't think so. Not by Dimitrov's look, no. Although I might be doing him a disservice. Let's take a look here. I like the movement. No, not quite. Great effort, though. Out of those five set matches from Jesus Love down, how many was he able to convert that went to the fifth? Not many. Only one. Which is interesting in itself, isn't it? Yeah. Not That's... many actually either, where he's won the fourth, to be honest, from two sets of love. And obviously you've got to look at who he's playing and we need to probably identify that a little closer, but that's spanning almost nine years on tour that he has found himself down two sets to love. So he hasn't been in the past from Tuesday's love, he hasn't been able to grab that third and ride with the momentum and wrestle it back. No, in fact, Rash, only once yep. of so those 16 times has he won the third. And I feel like this is his biggest chance right now to change all that. Big second serve, 178 through the middle. Didn't want to play the point. Should have challenged Grigor. Yes. He's looking at the line there. It was early in the rally, wasn't it, Nick? It's a bold move, though, Rush, isn't it? On oh, a big point like that, break point. Yeah. I, know, I know what you're saying. And with a lot of guts, that, doesn't it? And we heard that ball was out. Mm. Not quite confirming that in our ear. Just by a couple of millimetres. Luck a little. Oh, he didn't come in off much, did he? But again, Dimitrov doing the right thing there. Yeah, there's, there's also not a lot of movement after that shot. So because there's no real power movement to recover, there's opens up a lot more space for Grigor around the body. Both at the net and on the baseline. Courageous, and it's but it also says something about where he is physically. Shot too soon. Oh, 
I like Grigor, he's jumping around, he looks up, he sees that. dominate and bully the ball around the court. So Grigor's job's pretty clear and simple. If he gets access to the ball, he needs to spread. Great illustration. He used the slice back there first to get the ball down the line, and then there was a lot of rotation off the back of the court for the American to have to deal with. And of course, yeah, sorry, Rash. Of course, when he does slice up the line, generally he gets a four and after that, doesn't he, as well? Because yep. TFO's then going back cross court. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Ace number nine from TFO of this match. And look, I've seen a lot of guys win matches like this when they have been physically struggling, but they've, their only way to those type of athletes have been the power athlete, like we're watching here, who can serve themselves out of trouble, can sl slap a few balls. didn't really want to play the next ball coming back sort of stood there that ball was clearly in to get out of the surf. It's laboured. Yeah, and again, you've got to just grit your teeth. You're not too far away from this. Better than play. The alternative is playing another set. didn't get it, and that's why he's annoyed. That's brilliant from TFO. <laughs> Notice that Paul Ness has just been handed something by the, one of the physios. They've just passed something down to him down there. And how good was this shot? That was great from really good slap from Grigor, but that was outstanding. Speed of shot. Play. 
It's a, it's an easy play for him as well. There's the amount of killer jewels these guys are working in terms of the energy per game. That's the overall picture. I tell you that. Uh, Both players in the first set, everything 125, the fourth set's 80. Physicality certainly taking its toll. So the recovery shot's the key, isn't it? There is not a great recovery shot from the American. As long as Grigor gets that first ball in play, he's in, he's in, he's set up really well on his serve. The green, white and red flags continue to be flown here. Still yet to have a break in this fourth set. We have hit the business end right now. stage of the of the match because I need to engage the opponent. Not a free point. Let's for service. Well, it's a sea ball hit ball scenario, isn't it? For for TFO. Trying to just get the ball through the court as quick as possible. Barely thinking about this one as well, up to the line here. Three and a half hours. That's a delightful bit of skill. Well, it was definitely the game that he wanted, he needed and wanted. Didn't want to be extended so he can now get back on the attack. Not just the ushers in the far corners, that just opened the door. A lot of people have just come out into the far corner at the top of the stadium. Try and find some seats somewhere. Everybody wants to get a piece of this one. There you go. We've all just been let in. Those doors opened just about two or three minutes ago. They're still open. I don't know quite what they're doing up there, but they're going to try and find a seat in one of the upper stands. Let's for service. ball striking from that part of the court. Just holding his ground, but just accelerating. Grigor just watch that go by. Four 
You can see six doubles now, and uh, four of those have actually come in this set. how close Francis will get in on this second serve. Does just that. And he sensed his time was perhaps now. Smelt blood. Well, he had to. That's 131. He was actually reaching for it because it barely got to him quickly. Thank you. Two break points for the American. See if he presses again, looks to come forward and come into net. Exactly what he did. He applies the pressure and it proves too much for Grigor Dimitrov. The American will serve for a place in the last eight. Some game, some noise on his 21st birthday. Francis Tiafoe might be about to give himself the best possible present. Francis Tiafo celebrates his 21st birthday by booking his place in a major quarterfinal for the very first time. One of the matches of the tournament so far here on the Melbourne Arena. Gregor Dimitrov is out. The American continues his run. Three and a half hours of top draw tennis. It's TFO's through, 7-5 in the fourth. Well, we saw this in the last round. 